trigger warning. This is a pistol brace. I know it's scary. So many people who are opposed to the Second Amendment. They say they, they're not opposed to the Second Amendment. They say they just want to regulate guns. They don't. They want to abolish guns. And many of them wouldn't know a gun from a J. Crew catalog. This is a handgun. This is what we're talking about. Now, our Second Amendment right is not unlimited. We know that. It's subject to reasonable, reasonable restriction by government consistent with the Constitution and the country's, quote, historical tradition of firearm regulation. Those aren't my words. Those are the Supreme Court's words. I'm quoting New York State Rifle and Pistol Association, v. Brewing by the United States Supreme Court. For example, in many states, you can't own a bazooka. That's a reasonable restriction. Uh, your right to own a gun can also be restricted if you suffer from mental illness. That is what we have concluded as a society uh, as a reasonable restriction. The issue today is very simple. It's whether President Biden's Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, new rule, in effect, banning, or at a minimum, severely restricting pistol braces, is a reasonable restriction under the Constitution. That's what we're discussing today. Trigger warning. This is a pistol brace. I know it's scary. This is a pistol brace. It fits on your forearm. Like this. Here it is, right here. To the pistol brace is added another piece that grips the handgun. That's what we're talking about here. A pistol brace is also known, this scary piece of equipment here, is also known as a stabilizing brace or an arm brace. It's a simple de device. It's mounted to the rear of the pistol. It's designed to anchor the pistol to the shooter's arm, right here. It goes on the forearm. So the, so the shooter can shoot the pistol with one hand. Now, why is that important? Because some Americans don't have two hands, or the use of two hands, or two arms. Pistol braces were invented to help handicap people, particularly handicapped veterans who don't have use of both of their arms. You don't have to be a handicapped person to use a pistol brace. Some studies have shown that there are as many as 40 million pistol braces in the United States that President Biden wants to outlaw. Not 4 million. 40 million, and most of them, I would say virtually all of them, are owned by law-abiding citizens. Now, this pistol brace, other than stabilizing the pistol, it doesn't change the pistol in any way. The pistol brace doesn't change the caliber of the pistol, doesn't make it more powerful. The pistol brace doesn't change the number of rounds that the pistol can hold. The pistol brace doesn't make the pistol an automatic uh, pistol. Automatic weapons are forbidden in the United States. And the pistol brace 
doesn't make the pistol fire any faster. The pistol brace also does not help the shooter load the pistol more quickly. Except for stabilizing the pistol, it doesn't change the pistol in any way. It just makes it easier to hold, which is important, particularly if you're handicapped. As one of my colleagues alluded to, pistol braces were invented in 2012. They have been legal since. As I said, millions of Americans own them. Millions of Americans use them, especially handicapped Americans. The Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Bureau has never had a problem with pistol braces. None, zero, zilch, nada, until President Biden became president. Now, President Biden and his ATF have promulgated a rule. It says, attaching a pistol brace to a pistol somehow magically stops the pistol from being a pistol and turns it into a short-barreled rifle. The ATF has defended its proposed new rule, as, have, as has President Biden, by pointing to two mass shootings that were committed by individuals who used pistols with pistol braces. Now, why does it matter? Why is the ATF trying to say a pistol is no longer a pistol? If you use a pistol brace, it's a short barrel rifle. I'll tell you why. You don't have to be a Latin scholar to figure it out. Because short barrel rifles, once again, which the ATF says pistol braces turn pistols into, are heavily restricted by the National Firearms Act of 1934 and the Gun Control Act of 1968. That's why they want to turn a pistol into a short barrel rifle by using a pistol brace. Under these two federal statutes, if the ATF can succeed, the ATF can require the owner of the pistol with the pistol brace to register it within 120 days with the ATF. They want to start a gun registry for law-abiding Americans. Hello? They want to start a gun registry. If the ATF pulls this off, this is what they can do. This is what you have to do if you own a pistol brace and you use it with your handgun, handicapped or otherwise. you got to register it within 120 days with the ATF. you got to destroy the pistol brace. You've got to dismantle, or you've got to dismantle the pistol brace, or you've got to surrender your pistol to the ATF, or you have to destroy your pistol. And violations, if you don't do what the ATF says, violations of these two federal statutes are punishable by five to ten years in prison and fines of up to $250,000. Stupidity should hurt more. Unless you self-identify as an idiot, you can see what's going on here. The American people may be poorer under President Biden, but they're not stupid. The ATF is trying to keep Americans from owning pistols and or they're trying to keep Americans from owning pistol braces. And or they're trying to use this rule to start an extensive national gun registry. And the ATF rule is just a backdoor way to subject, to subject pistols to more smothering reg regulations. I swear to God and all the angels, Americans get so much government... They choke on it. They choke on it.